Hey guys, <laughs> um, I was watching uh, Lisa at Supportive Tarot's and Peggy's uh, live chat just now. I've watched uh, three quarters of it and I will watch the other three quarters in a bit. Um, but I just have this <laughs> instant urge to, you know, throw my weight in there. And it's a bit of weight, yes. Um, I just keep having the same... I have a block with blocking positivity. Yes. Because I don't like uh, a lot of the assumptions and I think that's what the ladies have been saying uh, quite a number of times in very different words. Um, that, you know, society's assumptions about what is positive is one part of the discussion really that uh, I think what's positive is uh, really very different for each and every one of us. Um, another thing is that when you think of this type of situation where you would say I am blocking the positive or I'm sabotaging the dream or I'm not letting myself dream and so on and so forth, might it not be true? that in fact there's a voice inside of you that doesn't want that path. And that's where I'm coming from here. I, um, I know that I have been trying to enforce positivity upon myself for half a century. Or I used to, anyway. Because that was the way I was brought up. I was supposed to be happy. I was supposed to be uh, rational and intelligent, I was supposed to be a couple of other things, you know, even creative, because that was, uh, you know, an accepted sort of element in my life. But there were other things in the way. And if you speak, Lisa, about fear and lack of self-worth, or, you know, the, the devaluing of yourself, isn't that really two sides of the same thing, really? Aren't they just two expressions that are deeply connected at the root and if I look at my own experience that's what I see I see a lot of frantic searching for positivity accompanied by two suitcases one with self-hate really and one with fear filled up that's the way it used to be and nowadays uh, in my own path I don't look at the fear or the self-hate even as negative by themselves I don't look at them I don't look at them by themselves I look at it all in a bigger picture because I've come through the valley of darkness I think and um, that's what I'm all about I'm always I always want to I'm not scared of the demons anymore. So, what I'm trying to say is, what looks negative at first may well be a very sound expression of your inner situation. And maybe we should, in some cases, not everyone, and it's not. I'm not saying don't dream. I mean, but it, you should be true to yourself, and what um when when that is what's happening you're not blocking positivity you're blocking a part of us is blocking something that doesn't make any sense to us because there are issues that need resolving that we're not getting any help with and by opening that up this is a tough subject this is even tougher than the subjects on self-worth saturday as they are um I was hesitating whether to put this up. I'm not even completely sure I will put this up uh, as yet. And I don't want to go on for hours about this. But I think it's just too important for me to um, to go on watching and listening without putting my ten, two cents worth in, in there. It's that um, the, 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 the lack of self-worth and the fear and all the other negative charges that we carry around with us 
for so long, they're indicators of a, of a completely different path. And they're actually, these have sent me to come into closer and closer contact with my true self. And it's a process and that takes a long time. But looking for the so-called positive elements in the outside world, um, making money, other than everything that's supposed to be positive out there doesn't work for me. What works for me is looking for harmony and looking for personal sovereignty and looking for relationships where I can, um, you know, express myself or express my, um, my concerns for equality and fairness to some extent at least where whenever that's problematic I will figure that out I will figure out why this person is important to me and I need to you know have this discussion or have this attitude I will not let them sway me I will not I can listen to anyone but for me to step away from personal sovereignty it's not going to happen anymore. So I hope this makes sense. I'm just going to put this out there. It's just uh, just my two cents. Three and a half. Thank you for watching. See you soon. Bye bye. Thanks for all the work.